Common peace from the heart with Father Antonio Agnes. Today is the 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The first reading, Zechariah chapter 9, verses 9 to 10. Second reading, Romans chapter 8, verses 9 and 11 to 13. Gospel reading, Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. Friends, in our first reading, the prophet Zechariah uh, gives us the image of a king who comes to his people riding on a donkey. This is quite different from what we know. At that time, kings came riding on horses. And when today we know and see our leaders, our kings, our presidents, coming to us riding the best of the day, the latest of the day. Today's message is a call to those of you who have been blessed to occupy important positions in our church and even outside church, in the state where you work, where you find yourself. God wants you to be like this king who comes to his people on a donkey. Humility. Learn to be humble. Come to the level of those entrusted to you. Go down to their level. This is the invitation this king brings to us. And then we hear the lines, he will bring peace to the nations. Indeed, this peace that this king brings is not a peace that is absence of war, but a, an inner peace, a peace that the world cannot give. God wants to give you shalom. Shalom means that everything be well with you, outside and inside. Not only the physical, but also the spiritual. Not only the externals, but also the internals. This is a peace we pray for and we yearn for when we say, Peace be with you. May this peace be yours. May everything find you happy. In the Gospel reading, we hear Jesus who continue this same calling for peace and humility when he invites those listening to him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Friends, it is clear. It is always, I will give you rest. The master is the one in charge. He is the one who gives rest to us. Nothing in this world can give us rest. Not money, not family, not relationship, not power, not position, not prestige. Nothing. It is only God who can give us the rest that we need. Obvious, we know St. Augustine who said, Until I find rest in your love. He has searched everything from wisdom to pleasure, and none of those could give him rest. It's only in God that St. Augustine found this rest. Today, Jesus is giving us the same invitation. Come to me. You listen to me. Come to me. You around me. He wants you. He's inviting you. What is your labor? What is your burden? He's saying, bring them to me. I want to use a word that we know, especially when we, do, we, we deal with computers and even our phones. Uploading and downloading. Today, Jesus wants you to upload your labors and your burdens onto him. He will download our labors. He will download our burdens. What a beautiful scene that God is ready to download your problems upon himself. That God is ready to download your burdens upon himself. Why then are you worried? Your God can download your problems. Your God will download your problems. Yours is to just upload them to him and leave them to him. And he will take care of them. He says, I will give you rest. You know, when Jesus says, I will give you rest, the word rest here doesn't only mean that I will give you a pause, I will bring an end to what you are going through, but it also means I will refresh you, refresh. Again, back to our technology and computers and phones, sometimes when you have taken an action on your phone or on your computer, you don't seem to see it happening to that phone or computer until you refresh it. When you refresh it, you realize that everything comes back to normal. Jesus is saying that, come to me with your labors, your worries, your pains, your head, and I will refresh you. This is what he means that I will give you rest. 
God wants to refresh you, to give you another chance, to renew you. Friends, these are the invitation. These are the invitations we hear Jesus giving to us this morning to come to Him. He ends by saying, Learn from me who is gentle and humble of heart. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the only time in the Bible, in the scriptures, that God asks us to learn from Him. In the school of Jesus, we learn two things His gentleness and His humility. Let us learn to be gentle. Let us learn to be humble. For he says these are the things he wants us to learn from him. And as we know, learning is not a day's work. It takes days, months, sometimes even years to learn something. And so, don't rush it. He's saying small, small, bit by bit, little by little. It is a daily encounter, a daily effort. To be humble and to be gentle. We pray for that and we do our best also to live it. We do our best also to achieve this. My friends, it's a learning process. Take your time, but make it your daily ideal, your daily task to be humble and gentle like Jesus. As you grow in your own spiritual life, you will get there that you become truly humble and gentle in heart like Jesus. And he also says, Take my yoke upon yourself. Friends, a yoke was a burden, a piece of metal that was tied uh, between two animals. It, it was a metal that we used to join two animals together. Why? To carry a load. So instead of one animal carrying that load, they would join the second animal to this first animal with a yoke. So that now the two animals will be pulling that yoke, that difficulty together, that burden together. And this is what Jesus is calling us to, to take his yoke upon ourselves. He wants to yoke himself with us. He wants to share in carrying our burdens. This is also another beautiful picture. Imagine God yoking himself with you, side by side with you, helping you to carry your burden, obviously then your burden will be light because with God by your side you will not feel the burden that comes with life he will yoke with you he will help you to carry your burdens of life let us pray lord jesus we thank you and we praise you give us the grace lord to see what to do give us lord the strength to do it again we pray that when life becomes difficult, may you, Lord, yoke yourself to us, yoke yourself with us, to make those burdens of life become light, to have the strength to go through these challenges that keep coming, that keeps coming our way. We make our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise be Jesus Christ.